Hello everyone! Welcome to our English learning journey with movies. Let's explore and improve our English together. Buckle down, meaning if you buckle down to something, you start working seriously at it. Example, she knew if she didn't buckle down, the tasks wouldn't get done. Three, two, one. Now let's buckle down! Luke Skywalker would have buckled down. <laughs> I'm always going to be buckling down. I dream loudly, but I have to buckle down if I want to get into a good college. But I buckled down and I succeeded. I bet if we buckle down, we can get it all done and have time to treat ourselves. Okay. Yes. People have to buckle down, do their jobs. Finishing touch, meaning a minor change that completes something else or makes it perfect. Example, the poem was almost perfect. All that it needed were some finishing touches to make it so. Three, two, one. Finishing touch. Almost there. One final finishing touch. Oh. And now for the finishing touch. And now for the finishing touch. So, any great ideas for finishing touches before we leave? Decorator just put the finishing touches on it yesterday. Lucy's putting the finishing touches on a fancy dinner table. Good china, silver, etc. Oh, easy does it, meaning used to tell someone to be more careful and slow, especially in moving. Example, I was on the back of Susie's motorbike and she was going really fast, so I said easy does it. Three, two, one. Easy does it. 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 Easy. Easy does it. All right. That's very good. Easy does it, okay? Okay. Easy does it. Bigger fish to fry, meaning to have other things to do, especially more important things. Example, I don't have a lot of time to spend on this issue. I have bigger fish to fry. Three, two, one. We got bigger fish to fry. And we have bigger fish to fry. Honestly, don't know, but I have bigger fish to fry. Not particularly. I have some... Bigger fish to fry. Frankly, I'm bigger fish to fry. Anyway, I think we have bigger fish to fry here than your apparent lack of knowledge about cinema. I still think there are bigger fish to fry out there. Bring to the table, meaning to offer something that will be an advantage. Example, Irene is the best candidate to hire. She brings excellent qualifications and undoubted experience to the table. Three, two, one. I, I bring nothing to the table. Just bring him to the table. What do I bring to the table? What's Rachel bringing to the table? And that's why I don't judge people by where they come from. I judge them by what they bring to the table. Now when you remount your campaign, you have something to bring to the table. What do you think you can possibly bring to the table at this point in the game? Jack of all trades, meaning, refers to a person who is capable of handling a variety of tasks but is not particularly skilled in any of them. Example, my grandfather was a jack-of-all-trades. He had never attended college, but he was an accomplished musician, gardener, piano player, and spoke several languages. Jack-of-all-trades. Jack-of-all-trades, master of none. You're a jack-of-all-trades. Yeah. Jack-of-all-trades. Drink something me, come on. Floating utility player, kind of like a, like a jack-of-all-trades. Um, I'm kind of a jack of all trades, if you will. I'm a jack of all trades, really. I uh, one time manned a flamethrower. Easier said than done, meaning used to say that something would be very difficult to do. Example, it's easier said than done when it comes to convincing people that something is true. Three, two, one. Easier said than done. It's easier said than done. Easier said than done, Lucifer. That might be easier said than done. It's easier said than done, isn't it? This isn't the same. They'd have to get used to it. Easier said than done. That's a lot easier said than done, right? <laughs> Cakewalk, meaning a very easy thing to do or a very easy victory. Example, don't expect the game against Florida to be a cakewalk. It's a cakewalk. <laughs> and this is a cakewalk. It should be a cakewalk. <laughs> I got a cakewalk for you this time. You ready for it? You can play Joe Buck. Oscar Schindler's a cakewalk. This isn't going to be a cakewalk. Oh. So Sir, this is not going to be a cakewalk. Do one's bit, meaning to do a share of a task. Example, she always tries to do her bit to make the world a better place. Three, two, one. Just doing my bit. We all have to do our bit. Now, that's exactly why I should do my bit. All I ever wanted in this war was to do my bit. Now look, I understand wanting to do your bit in this terrible war, 
But why do you want to die in the trenches? You do your bit, I'll do mine. You don't do my bit? Blood, sweat, and tears. Meaning, putting a lot of effort to get a task done. Example, they had given their blood, sweat, and tears in order to get their business running up to standard. Blood, sweat, and tears. For my blood, sweat, and tears. Do you have any idea the blood, sweat, and tears it's taken me to put this thing together? This business that he built with his blood, sweat, and tears. 20 years of blood, sweat, and tears on these walls. I put my blood, sweat, and tears into my coaching. We taught you so you know the blood, sweat, and tears it took to raise and feed you monkeys. Burn the candle at both ends, meaning to get very tired by doing things until very late at night and getting up early in the mornings. Example, working and studying at the same time has led to me having to burn the candle at both ends. Three, two, one. Burn the candle at both ends? You can burn the candle at both ends. You can't keep burning the Christmas candle at both ends. I think I do, yeah. I'm burning the candles on both ends. I just wanted to leave this. Thank you. Rachel? Looks like someone's been burning the candle at both ends. She and Mr. Reese were burning the candle at both ends. Freddie, you're burning the candle at both ends. A tall order, meaning a request or piece of work that is almost impossible. Example, getting the project done within that schedule will be a tall order. Three, two, one. That's a real tall order. What do you think, Don? I think it's a tall order. Oh, it's a pretty tall order. <laughs> Getting a National Parks designation is a tall order. That's a pretty tall order, don't you think? Well, what do you think? It seems like a tall order. Like you might need some muscle. That's gonna be a tall order. No picnic. Meaning, if something is no picnic, it is very difficult and needs a lot of effort or hard work. Example, bringing up six children is no picnic. Three, two, one. Marriage is no picnic. It's no picnic. No. Well, it's no picnic, let me tell you. What happened? There was no picnic. It's no picnic. Look, Buck is no picnic, but law school was, uh, oh my God. We're no picnic ourselves. Get the sack, meaning to be told to leave your job, school, group, or relationship. Example, if you can't do your job properly, you're going to get the sack. Three, two, one. Well, I got the sack, I'm unemployed. Definitely get the sack for that. Plus, I know you got the sack from your job. She's the one who'll get the sack if she doesn't watch it. Sorry, but you can't do that. Only I've got another job singing at a club, you see. And if I'm not blonde tonight, well, I'll get the sack. If Mr. Bolty doesn't know the difference between pet rabbits and wild ones, he should get the sack. We've still got the sack from San Carlos. No pain, no gain. Meaning, if not hardworking, then no achievement. Example, if you want to win the title next month, you have to train for an extra hour every day next week. No pain, no gain. Three, two, one. No pain, no gain. No pain, no gain. No pain, no gain. No pain, no gain. <laughs> no pain, no gain, my man. Uh, no pain, no gain? No pain, no gain. Crack the whip, meaning to make people work very hard. Example, the company is three months behind with the orders, so the boss has started to crack the whip. Three, two, one. Crack the whip. I'll be here tomorrow, I gotta crack the whip. Mm -hmm. Crack the whip, drive the slaves off to another cocktail party. You should have seen me crack the whip on those fools. Okay guys, I hate to crack the whip, but it's kind of uh, business meeting time. Take it an hour! Start cracking the whip out of here! So, you're here to crack the whip on Adam? Call of duty, meaning something you must do or feel compelled to do. Example, Sam really went above and beyond the call of duty when he dived into the sea to save that drowning dog. Three, two, one. Call of duty. Beyond the call of duty. It's really above and beyond the call of duty. You went above and beyond the call of duty. So, in your previous experience, can you give me an instance in which you went above and beyond the call of duty for a customer. This is way above and beyond the call of duty for a stand-in. I guess he couldn't shake the call of duty that echoed in his ears. Piece of work, meaning an item or part of something, especially of art or craft. Example, I love this piece of work by Stephen Wills. He is a wonderful painter. Three, two, one. 
Interesting piece of work. What a piece of work! Nice piece of work. Nasty piece of work, though. Pieces of work. That piece of work you saw in my house. Do you even know who the original artist was? Most profound piece of work to date. Miles to go before I sleep, meaning you have a lot to do before you can rest. Example, I have built a company from the ground up, but there is still a lot that needs to be done. I have miles to go before I sleep. Three, two, one. Miles to go before you sleep. And miles to go before we sleep. Damn. Miles to go before we sleep. And I have promises to keep and miles to go before I sleep. Well, and if you think you're going to get any money out of us, you got miles to go before you sleep and miles to go before you sleep. The woods are lovely, dark, and deep. And I have promises to keep and miles to go before I sleep. I have promises to keep and miles to go before I sleep. As simple as that, meaning extremely easy to understand or comprehend. Example, being a website developer is not as simple as that. It requires commitment and dedication. Three, two, one. It's as simple as that. It's as simple as that. It's as simple as that. And you know what? You'll know. I'm afraid it's not as simple as that. It's too late. It's as simple as that. Well, it's not as simple as that, James. It's not as simple as that, and you know it. Thank you for watching this video.